Hey, y'all. I cannot make this up. I literally just finished the last video, and I click on this to look at the time, and it's 111. Praise the Lord. I've been getting 111 a lot, and Sis Karen just told me that she has, too. I've been getting it for years. My address was even 1011111. I'm not making this up. Um, and then... I don't want to say where I'm at now, but it's got a bunch of ones in it. That's all I'm going to say. Yeah. Something's up with that. I feel like it's a gateway to, you know, to heaven. It's like God's uh, thumbs up sign. Anyway. Okay. So getting back to what I was saying, and then I'll explain this hilarious picture you're looking at. <laughs> you're looking at a gang stock a gang stalker posing as my ex-boyfriend. I'll just go ahead and tell y'all. Is this hysterical? Look at the picture behind my ex-boyfriend. <laughs> this photo was taken. Uh, we had just started dating. I've been dating him about a month and a half. Maybe, let's see, let's see, October. Yeah. Not even a month and a half, a little over a month when my mother died, oddly enough, right after I met him. I'm not blaming him for that. She was in another state, but it's just kind of strange. And uh, since I don't drive, he offered to drive me to my mom's funeral, which is like several states away. And that's how we ended up getting that trunk, which I got the picture of. One of the only things that I got out of my two-bedroom, two-bath apartment. Again, no big deal. But that picture of the father and son banquet that's on the side of this old trunk that the Satanists destroyed. Yeah. Uh, he, he drove me in New Orleans to go pick that up on the way back from my mom's funeral. This happened on that trip. I didn't know him that well then, y'all. We did not live together. And... He was vlogging, and I was not online. I hadn't done my YouTube videos yet. This was probably, this would have been uh, the beginning of December of 2015. So, like a year and a half ago is when this happened. Uh, or a little over a year, I don't know, year and four months ago. And he's walking out of this convenience store, and I just thought it was hysterical. I'm like, Dude, he looks just like Jesus. When he walked out, I was looking at him, and I got the picture, not even noticing happy hour at the top. I promise I didn't notice this. Why they got happy hour? There's no bar in there. This is a convenience store. Unless maybe in New Orleans, maybe they're making a joke. I don't know. But, uh, yeah, I didn't notice that part when I took the picture. I just saw, see Jesus' face? <laughs> they looked exactly alike, dude. And I couldn't figure out why I was so drawn to him. That's why, y'all. Is that hysterical? Anyway, I just thought I'd put that up there so y'all can see something uh, pretty instead of staring at my <laughs> hideousness. Now, I don't think I'm hideous, but uh, you don't want to see what I look like right now. <laughs> anyway, I stank. I stank. Anyway, uh, let me get back to what I was saying. I'm sorry. Uh, so, the Lord told me last night to go out, look up in the sky. I got a picture of what I believe to be a giant demon. I got it in four pictures, okay? And I'm going to show it to you all right now. Sorry that the quality is really bad because I've got a really cheap cell phone. But I felt like... Something evil was outside is all I'm going to say. And the Lord said, yeah, go out, look. And then I want you to get back inside before midnight. This happened right before midnight. I'd say maybe 1145. Before midnight, I want you inside and shut all your windows. Because I leave my windows open. And uh, not open, but I mean, they're not like open. But, you know, they'll be drawn up to where I can get air. Because it's hot out. It's hot up in here. This is what I believe to be... An actual demon, y'all. Let me see if I can get better. I don't know if y'all can see it. Let 
I'll do it like this. Maybe that'll work. There's a face here, an actual face, and two giant wings, and this thing moved. It kept moving like it was flying. This is as it's starting to get closer to me. Serious. It was moving, and the wings looked like they were literally flapping. Do you see it? See the face right here? Right here. Man, I wish I had a better quality. Okay, maybe like that. There's the face of it. If I make it smaller, you can really see it. And there's the wings. And there's my dirty, nasty fingernails. Because I haven't taken a shower yet. <laughs> I'm just like been downloaded with so much from the Lord. It's like I'm too busy to do anything else. There it is again. And dude, this thing, normally clouds will move and change like appearance. This thing just kept getting bigger and closer. Still had the face and wings. Is that not freaky? I'm going to try to, maybe I can get it printed or something. If anybody knows how to do this stuff, help. I'm terrible with this kind of stuff. See? It's a freaking giant demon. And the Lord told me to go inside and shut all the doors and windows. And I think he was like saying like, this is how it'll be on the three days of darkness. Oops. And there's Matt, Matthew. Everybody around me has always got some sort of a biblical name I find funny. I find it very funny. All the guys I go out with, including the new one, Jacob. Shout out to you. <laughs> anyway, he said he doesn't care if I put his name out there. So I'm going to go ahead and put it out there. Anyway, beware targeted individuals. If you're cute and you're a target, don't go out with this dude. <laughs> He's a smooth talker. Name is, never mind. I'm sorry. God bless his soul. I pray for him. I really do pray for him. I see like a glimmer of light in him. But he's so zombified with video games. Dude, he's in his 30 and he plays like video games all day long. I'm like, what? And that's how they're corrupting the youth. Like the really young kids are even worse. And they walk around and they stare at their cell phones all day because that's we're in zombie land. There are zombies. That's what it says. That's what the zombie apocalypse actually means. People are brain dead from video games, cell phones, internet. I'm not talking YouTube, but like when you're just like all you do is internet and stare at the internet and stare at and the main culprit of all of it is the TV and video games off the cell phones. But I, I digress. Let me get back to what I was saying. How much time I got? Okay, I got to wrap it up again already. I've already been talking that long. All right. I hope, I hope uh, Judas Iscariot likes his face out there. <laughs> I'm not mad at him either, y'all. I'm making a joke. I actually thought he was cute. And now I know why. Because he looks like Jesus. <laughs> Or the Jesus they led us to believe. Anyway, what Jesus looked like. Okay, so my final thing, after I to was told that we will be transformed first, saints, we will have supernatural anointing, power, and protection, and come back down, slay the fallen, and we will travel around and preach and save the lost, just like Jesus did. But we will be in transformed bodies. This has been confirmed by Sister Karen. After... The final thing, after I was told, and six days Jesus taketh with him Peter, James, and John, and leadeth them up into a high mountain. There's a mountain that I keep talking about for months. Apart by themselves, and he was transfigured before them. Right? I got that today, this morning, at 9.30. I wrote it down exactly. The Lord led me to this at exactly 9.30. Sis Karen uploaded a video. I was so excited. I started listening to her video about being transformed. I thought we got the same scripture. We didn't. But it's identical. The same thing. 
So this is definitely the Lord working here, y'all. Uh, Sis Karen got Luke 9, 3. The second. Talk amongst yourselves. And this is this is what Sis Karen was led to by the Lord this morning. And he saith unto them. Oh, I'm sorry. That's not it. My bad. She got Luke 9. 27. But I tell you of a truth, there shall be some standing here which shall not taste of death till they see the kingdom of God. And it came to pass about eight days after these saying, he took Peter and John and James and went up into a mountain to pray. As he prayed, the fashion of his countenance was altered and his raiment was white and glistening. Again, you want to hear what I got this morning? I'm sorry. It's almost identical to what she got. I got... Mark says Karen got Luke 9, 27 through 29, okay? And I got, y'all need to read these scriptures. The Lord is speaking loud and clear with us. And I got Luke 9, 3. Uh, I keep doing that. I'm sorry. I got Mark See, I've got two coinciding scriptures here, y'all, that Karen and I both got. And I got Mark 9, 1 through 3. And he saith unto them, Verily I say unto you that there may be some of them that stand here which shall not taste of death, till they have seen the kingdom of God come with power. After six days Jesus take with them Peter, James, and John, leadeth them up into a high mountain by themselves, and he was transfigured before them. And his remnant became shining, exceedingly white as snow. Okay? Identical. Just different parts of the Bible. Identical. Then, not only did we, sis Karen and I from Sarah Fourth Calling, y'all need to check her website out or YouTube out if you haven't done it. Uh, then, we both got, not only will we be transfigured, but then we're going to come back down. And now it makes sense why I keep seeing myself in a ship. And after the sudden destruction, because, yeah, we're going to be here for the sudden destruction, but we'll already have our new bodies of light, supernatural anointing and protection, y'all, and power, God's holy power. Woo -hoo -hoo! Hey, maybe, maybe all my screaming is why my voice sounds like this. <laughs> That's my voice. I'm Samuel Jackson. That's how I talk. <laughs> a shock. A shock. Ain't me. I'm sorry, I... I have to throw something funny in there. Okay. We both got confirmed about take nothing for your journey. In yesterday's video, which I really did post it yesterday, y'all, and they blocked it. I reposted it this morning. It was a continuation of what actually was allowed to go up yesterday about meeting the guy on the beach. And he knew about the New Jerusalem and he wasn't wearing shoes. Well, if y'all listened to yesterday where I talk about he wasn't wearing shoes, that's because... I had already been given the scripture yesterday. The Lord told me, Matthew, I was reading another scripture, y'all, on the bench, and the Lord kept drawing my eyes to the sky, and I didn't understand why. I thought he was just a homeless dude. He wasn't, like, unattractive or anything. He just looked a little bit unkempt, like me, and he didn't have shoes on, so I, I thought he was homeless, but he wasn't. By the way, he's not homeless, he told me. And he had his shoes in a plastic sack, a grocery sack. I didn't see them. I thought there was food in there, but that was his shoes. Isn't that funny? Anyway, uh, I thought that the Lord guided me to the scripture specifically because of this guy, which it was now because of that guy, as well as the Lord was telling me, confirmed today, that what what we're going to be doing after we're transformed. And I was reading another scripture towards the back of the Bible and the wind blew my Bible page to this page. It actually blew to this page. It is Matthew 10, 6. 
but go rather to the lost sheep of the house of Israel. As ye go, preach, saying, The kingdom of heaven is at hand. Heal the sick, cleanse the lepers, raise the dead, cast out devils. Freely you have received, freely go. Provide neither gold nor silver, nor brass in your purses, nor script for your journey. Journey. Neither two coats, neither shoes, nor yet stays, for the workman is worthy of his meat. And you know what sis Karen got this morning? And she hadn't heard this video because by the Lord's grace, he didn't have it go up till today. So we could be in confirmation on this. She got Luke 9, 3. And he saith unto them, Take nothing for your journey, neither slaves nor script, neither bread, neither money, neither have two coats apiece. Whatsoever how she enter into there, abide, and thence depart. Is that not amazing, y'all? So there's definite confirmation of what we're going to be doing, y'all. Also, here's another cool thing. Um... I'll come back with a third one now. I just realized I'm going over. Okay. God bless y'all.